Hello and welcome everybody out there to our webinar session at Cieta Spain this evening with the interesting topic, the Chinese community in Spain, past, present and future. Maybe Mercedes, you can unmute your microphone because we have a uh, very interesting, thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Silvia Besla and I'm a member and a CETR board member in Spain since 2013. Let me introduce you to our presenter today, Antonio Liu Yang. Thank you very much, Antonio, and a very warm welcome. How are you today? Uh, I'm prepared for this. That Thank sounds you very <laughs> For me as an intercultural trainer in the higher education field and specialized in supporting Chinese students who are coming to Spain and Germany uh, for their studies, it's a really great pleasure to be with you tonight. So coming like a child from Beijing to Valencia in Spain, Antonio has to, has, like you can imagine, he experienced a lot of intercultural difficulties. First, the language, the language question, but also um, a lot of other challenges. He managed it and studied the law, uh, studied a law degree at the University of Valencia. And afterwards, this helped him to uh, become a successful entrepreneur with his own enterprise, Mediterranean Consulting which is specialized in the needs of the Chinese community in Spain, not only for Spanish enterprises who, who want to um, have their franchise maybe in China. He is also combining this passion with teaching Chinese language and culture at the University of Valencia. And working as an intercultural trainer, he is also a demanded person in the business environment, for example, in enterprises like SEAT or Airbus. With this webinar today, Antonio will give us an overview about the Chinese community in Spain from the early 17th till nowadays. Why they came or come, how they live here, what they do, how do they see the Spaniards, and after 30 years living in Spain, do they feel like home or are they still missing homeland? What does their in Spain born children think? Do they feel like Chinese or do they feel like Spaniards? All these interesting questions has prepared Antonio now for us, passing him the word and wishing us an amazing and enjoyable talk. So if you want, Antonio. Yes, thank you very much, Sylvia, for the presentation. So uh, I will start with uh, with the thing. Uh, today we are going to to learn to share about the Chinese community in Spain, especially the past, the present days, and what about the future. I want to to finish the presentation in about twenty minutes, so we have uh, plenty of time to discuss what's your point of view of this uh, kind of situation with the Chinese and also with the Chinese community in your own country. So uh, if this works, uh, let me start with the presentation. Yes, that is the, the fir first question we can discuss after the presentation. What do you know about the Chinese community in your country? So maybe they repeat the same story. Maybe they are so different, there's nothing to do with with the, uh, the Spanish case, we don't know, so we will know with your help. i picture of, of not, not myself, it's my, my, my father. He came to Spain in 1984. Uh, if you see the picture, he's a very handsome man, Chinese man. The, he was the first, like the first Chinese, uh, Chinese persons to come to Madrid. Uh, he worked a lot, very hard in a, a Chinese uh, restaurant. But he sent me uh, in years before this picture because uh, he was happy. And the main question was, uh, I asked my father, why would you come came from China to Madrid? You don't know Spanish, you have money. So what is your 
purpose, what, what is your, your goal in, in your life? And he said, well, uh, my goal in my life is that my son, my only son is in my case, to have a bright and, and better future than me in China. So that's the, my, the start of, of my, my own story. I'm from Jin to, to, to Spain, to, to, not to Madrid, to the small town in the south of Valencia. Uh, it's called Javier, this is uh, Alicante's province. So we own uh, a small Chinese, typical Chinese restaurant. I, I was 10 years old. I went to school. Uh, from school, uh, I studied high school, and then I get uh, to university in, in Valencia. So the, I, I come from Beijing. We are very few people coming to, to Beijing. And the other uh, Chinese community uh, participants came from Zhejiang, uh, Sichuan, Hebei, Fujian. It's all the, the coast part. So this is the uh, Institute Nacional Estadística. It's the numbers of the Chinese. It's from the uh, years ago. Nowadays, they are, they are like... Uh, Oh, I think it's uh, 18, uh, 1800, uh, of, oh, 1800, yes, 1800, yes, thousand of, of Chinese in, in, in Spain. We are 50,000 in Madrid, another half in Catalonia, Barcelona, uh, uh, like 20,000 in Comunidad Valenciana, and the rest is a big number of in the Canary Islands. So there are more uh, men than women, and the, the ages are from 20 to 45 years old in, in Spain. So let's part of the past. At the 80s, uh, the Chinese community managed to have a small family restaurant all the uh, shops that you, you cannot remember, you, if even you are from Spain, there are uh, Tolacien, means everything at 100 pesetas. It's the, the, the old currency before euros comes. And then we start to grow, okay, in outside of Madrid or Barcelona, like Badalona or Fuenlabrada, there's a lot of uh, Chinese import and export. The second, the, the, the shops from 100 pesetas uh, grow up and then they go uh, uh, like a, a bazaar, a Chinese bazaar, uh, with different prices and different goods. And then the Chinese, typical Chinese family around a restaurant became to uh, like uh, Asian food uh, restaurant, especially in Susi. And because the, the, the Chinese food are always so, so cheap in, in Spain and the only way to earn more money is uh, making different kinds of food like sushi. Well, uh, at this uh, year 2000, the oldest shop has grown a lot. We have a huge bazaar in every city, in the uh, city center or even outside the city. The, the was to to close their own business, family business, and they are um, opening the typical Spanish bar with uh, Spanish tapas, um, not only Asian or Chinese food. The third thing is uh, they are opening a lot of um, shops specialized in in uh, clothes. Uh, I put this uh, for instance because Mulaya is looks like Tara from the outside. And also, uh, not European Chinese food restaurant starts to, to grow. So the questions, uh, I want to share this kind of, of thoughts or question after the presentation, and we can discuss uh, everyone uh, with these uh, thoughts. So what, what is the attitude to our teachers from the, from the uh, Chinese kids like me. I I uh, I start school uh, in Spain at uh, ten years old, uh, nineteen ninety, 
where I can. So the position of the teacher for me is like a the Chinese way of, of, of thinking teachers, masters, and, and bosses. Well, the majority was very high. From, from the teacher, I mean, there are a long power distance. So the communication uh, sometimes goes uh, in different ways. So what's the attitude toward my new Spanish friends? So the communication was okay, or uh, the way of the, they are thinking about the Chinese maybe it's different. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this later. So the third point is what was my attitude towards the studies? Uh, did I have a, a dream like, uh, okay, I have to study law, for, for instance, because my parents want me to be someone. So uh, it's the same with the Spanish families or with your families when you were younger. So that's the another, other question. So, marriage. So what do we think about them to our mixed cup, uh, couples? Are the Chinese traditional parents okay with mixed couples? Or um, uh, what is uh, the attitude from the, the Spanish uh, girl or guy to our, uh, a Maria Chinese guy or Asian guy? And uh, what is uh, their, the point of view toward the new family. So the mutual perception, a lot of uh, misunderstandings between the Chinese and the, and the Spanish. So the, from the Spanish part, the Chinese guy will always working 24 seven. Maybe in your country is the same, I don't know. So, but when, once they are getting rich, uh, they said, okay, you are getting rich not about your working. No, because you're working hard. It's because you are part of the mafia, of the Chinese mafia. And we had some problem, big problem in the media with that. And, okay. And a lot of uh, urban legends begins about the Chinese guys. Uh, okay, your food is cheaper because the materials you are you are using are not safe enough for a European country, okay? Or they say, okay, you are rich because you don't have to pay tax. It's uh, another big problem with, uh, with with Spanish government and Spanish people. A lot of them, they are thinking the Chinese don't have to pay tax. So that's uh, there is a Chinese guy, uh, Gao Ping. I think it's uh, uh, like three or four years ago. There's a big problem to the uh, money washing. Uh, it's, a, it's a big case. Uh, they are still in the. Uh, in, in, they are still in this game. And the point is, none of the, all the Chinese association wants to say something. Not nice, okay. What well, wants to 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 be in, in the in the Spanish media to defend the Chinese community, and that that, that the, the picture is is, is me with a with a, a friend, a friend from Global Asia the magazine. So we are in in Televisión Española uh, for an interview, saying, okay, this guy maybe is bad guy, maybe is good guy, we don't know, but the rest of the community we are clean. So that's this the, the message. But no one, want, no one of the Chinese, even the associations or, or entrepreneurs, wants to, 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 well, in Spanish we say that, to be someone in the media saying something uh, nice or different about the Chinese. Okay, now the other part. What do we think about the, the Spaniards? So carefree. It means, okay, um, I'm free. I don't have a, a many times a plan in my life. So I can study or not study. I can stay or go. Uh, I have plenty of opportunities in my life. Passionate is, is another word we always associate with, we associate with Spanish, okay. 
we have a lot of fiestas, we have crisis, but we still love football, uh, uh, we're still doing our, our lives instead of uh, more focus on work and work uh, and more work. If we are Chinese, we will do only the, the work part, okay? So, um, and that is the big question. Uh, are they, or most of them, are Chinese friendly or not? It's a question always, uh, also for you. If we were, if we are going to, to, to discuss this later. So, uh, the question: the Chinese friendly or not? This is a, a, a program in, in Telecinco. It's always Telecinco. And they, they make a sketch like a, a Spanish family in Christmas uh, having dinner in a, a Chinese restaurant. And the fun is, uh, it's a, like a, a joke between pato, which means duck, okay, to dinner or gato, which just means cat. So once again, urban legend, the Chinese restaurant are using cats and dogs to serve our food. And for uh, uh, a show paper, uh, it's a show called, called I think it is, it's not, I, yes, it's Aida, Cox is Aida. Now it's, it's not anymore on, on television. And there is uh, no dogs allowed and no Chinese allowed. Okay. And this is a woman says awful things about the Chinese restaurant in, in Spain. Uh, we had a lot of repercussion of these uh, three cases, even in China. But the other way uh, we're talking about uh, the youngster people from, from 20 to 30, we are a lot of the, the social media. Not only the Chinese ones, okay, we have WeChat, WeChat, Yuku and other, uh, and, others, uh, and other platforms in China where you see a lot now, even Facebook. But we cannot use Facebook in China, but in, in Spain we can. And there are a lot of uh, communities, okay, internet communities nowadays, saying things about what happens, okay. The, uh, this is a story with a, with a, a Chinese girl uh, who lost her, uh, her mobile phone and asked, please. To make a call, and no one of the, the uh, uh, Spanish uh, old woman want to to give the phone to her, and uh, she was very angry and put some uh, something on internet, and there there were a lot of reaction from the from the Chinese uh, with this news. But it's it's a it's a new kind of thing because for, uh, five years ago. There's no reaction from the Chinese community in this kind of, of, of things, okay, if, if like today. I put something uh, personal something in Facebook, maybe uh, a lot of Chinese uh, friends will comment that kind of, of, of things. And in the past, it's a, it's, it's a war. So that is the new, I think it's the new reaction for new things that you pass every day but now they have voice to, to say something. Uh, the, second, uh, the second one is a, a Chinese girl who is a, a writer and a comic book uh, writer, okay? And she's using these kind of situations with humor. Uh, she even got a book called the Caspacho de Dulce. Caspacho is a typical cold soup from the south of, of Spain. And Agridulce is a typical Chinese sweet and sour sauce. So that, that's the name, okay? Uh, she, she had a, a book about her life and everything uh, happens to, to her. her draw, uh, she drove it and he's a huge in, in the Chinese community, a huge star. So uh, so now the, the new Chinese immigrants, nowadays there are uh, 6,000 of students to come to Spain to study a degree or a, a master degree or just Spanish lessons. Investors and expats, there are a lot of uh, Chinese companies coming to, to Spain to have the, the, 
to predict operation base like Hisense. It's a it's a brand of uh, TVs and mobile phones, and they are based in in my India. And the, the the last one is about the golden visa. Uh, the law says if you buy any property about a uh, half million of euros, or you can get uh, the golden visa to live in Spain. And there's a lot of uh, new uh, Chinese rich, okay, rich Chinese buying properties, but uh, a lot of them is not for themselves. It's always for okay, my my son or my daughter wants to come to to Spain to study, and I make this uh, investment for her or for for him. So this uh, are some questions about the future. So there will there, there will be new job sectors like me. Uh, I think uh, Chinese lawyers in Spain we are like uh, twenty or thirty. Uh, we are a few at the moment. Uh, maybe in this or next generation we can see uh, Spanish more Chinese. And always the dilemma: Are they Chinese? Are they Spanish? Uh, what are they? So. Uh, We'll see a, a lot, of course, uh, third child, uh, third culture child, child a lot. So uh, my conclusion is, uh, the, we, 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 it's not the second generation of Chinese, okay, in Spain. Uh, we are maybe the first generation of Chinese grow up in Spain, and the, the word we use is uh, bananas or platanos, okay. We are. Uh, yellow from, from outside, but uh, the way we are thinking is white. That's why we put a, a, a banana, it's a banana case. And we have another joke because the, the, the uh, Westerns living in China, expats, for many, many years, we call them uh, eggs because they are white from outside, but inside is yellow. That's why the, the two fruit are egg comparison. So I will finish the presentation now, and I would like to discuss everything with, with you guys. And thank you for for listening to me. Uh, if there are anything not clear, I can uh, I can explain it again in, in the discussion. So there are some books in the presentation Mercedes, and if you click on the books, you you will find more information. And sorry about it because everything I use uh, is uh, Spanish. So, Sylvia, uh, yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Antonio. So, now we have three guests in the in the list, and uh, if I remember right, Mercedes, two guests in in Web uh, in Theatre Spain in Madrid, right? Yes. So, um, Sonia, Uwe, and Anna, are you able to open your microphone? If you go, normally you have it on the right side below in your screen. Can you see their microphone to open it, to unmute it? If not, you can write your questions in the chat room and I will comment it. Okay, Uwe write that he cannot open the microphone. Maybe you have a question, Uwe, and you can write it in the chat room. And the two guests in Madrid, are there maybe any questions or comments? Okay, Uwe tells me or write in the chat room that he has a long question, so he needs a little bit time to write it. Okay. Maybe me. So everyone, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, anyone want to talk about uh, what do you know about the Chinese community in your country? 
So it's a, a interesting question for me. Uh, let's see. Uh, they are the, they are using the same model in, in thing, or they are using another another uh, formula or, or or model in your own country. Anna and Sonia, can you hear us? Antonio. Yes. I'm uh, Mercedes uh, from Mercedes. Madrid. Okay. And uh, about uh, your question, I think uh, we only know a few things about uh, the Chinese community in Madrid. Uh -huh. uh, for example, only the things uh, we see every day that the Chinese mm -hmm. people are hard workers. Mm -hmm. But uh, for example, in my case, I tried, you know, to to start a, a conversation with uh, some Chinese when uh -huh. I go to a small, uh, you know, store to buy things. I I tried to to make uh, some uh, contact with them mm -hmm. and until now it has been impossible because you know I think uh, well I don't understand the, the, the Chinese uh, culture but I mm -hmm. haven't received an, an answer until now so mm -hmm. I, I want to ask you uh, why is that? Okay <laughs> maybe okay we will just I will say maybe because I, I don't know uh, each people how to react, but maybe they are from the the, 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 the first generation. Okay, we, we said just for first generation or second generation, just in time, no, because they are born or not in, in Spain. Okay, maybe uh, for them, uh, one reason is okay, I'm here, I'm just uh, working here, making money, I, I'm not interested anymore. So, that is the uh, option and a very valid option. Okay, the second option. Or if you are, if they are younger or something, and if you see them in groups uh, in Madrid or Barcelona or even here in, in Valencia, yeah, you can you can you can see uh, they are Chinese, but they are speaking uh, already in, in, in Spanish in their day a day conversations. It's just I think it's just the two kinds of uh, of groups. It's the first group, okay, I don't care, so it's. Uh, I'm only here to uh, to make money to make money, and the other group is okay. I grow here in in, in the Spanish society. Uh, I want to be one more. So there are very different kind of perceptions in in, in those extremes, no? in, in two ways. So maybe uh, you see the day a day for the the the, the first generation, the, the first part, and then maybe the second part still. Uh, still changing, still growing. Me in, in just, just in time, in, in five years' time, I think uh, we, we can see a lot of uh, Spanish Chinese guy are not uh, Chinese Chinese guy in Spain. Okay, Antonio. Here we have yes. a question uh, from. Question. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm reading it. Yes, in Spain, not a minute. Almost themselves are rather to be outgoing and merge in the special city. So, uh, if I understand well, you need tools to make the Spanish, oh, sorry, make the uh, uh, Chinese students once uh, they are in Spain to integrate in the Spanish uh, students' uh, circle of society. That's right? Sylvia, maybe you are you understand uh, you yes okay that's is the okay <laughs> very good the chat <laughs> okay well in my opinion I had a lot of uh, Chinese students and Sylvia also can give you a, a good advice is uh, once they are here they are very shy okay to integrate uh, they don't know how they have the the the, the, the language barrier. But once they are mm, studying day a day with uh, the local people and they merge with uh, local fiestas or, or local dinners or, or, or even, uh, I don't want to say fiestas, but for, for Erasmus uh, parties or, or events, they are very uh, glad to be uh, one more in the group. Um, and even so, uh, I, I had a, a lot of uh, re repacked experience. Okay, uh, students once they're gone, they have very good memories uh, 
from the time they had in Spain. So for me, the tools is uh, make um, more local events, um, make more local contact for the Chinese community. Like, okay, we are going to, to have a party and please come. We are, sh we are going to show you the, the Spanish or the local way uh, how to do this, how to study, how to, to, how to party or how to go, go out. So uh, maybe still we have, have a, a more personal experience with the, with the students in your, in your school or in the south of, of Spain. I think the question is not only because of the Chinese students, uh, but also all foreign students. The problem foreign in students. general, or the question in general, when the students are here, um, how can they connect with uh, Spaniards um, or with Spanish students? Normally, they mm -hmm. see each other maybe during the classes, but after the classes, what happens? And we experienced, we made this year the, a pilot uh, project in the university with American students. They have the same problem, it's, uh, well, or the, the same challenge. And I think it's really a general question, maybe. Um, and the pilot project was that we asked Spanish students interested in a partner mm -hmm. program. So when this um, American students came to the university, this um, project had uh, eight students, eight American students. So uh, we found eight Spanish students and they had different um, tasks to do with um, the American students. And this during three months. So it was very interesting because um, there was the possibility to really um, have a new relationship. Maybe it's too early to say a friendship, but they had a very strong relationship because they had to meet each week for three days, three times. Mm -hmm. And they organized it, but had also to report this to the main coordinator of the project. So they were, there was, um, at the beginning, more or less an obligation for them to attend the students, but step by step, they were also interested. And nowadays, with the WhatsApp or internet in general, it was also easy for students to stay in contact during the whole day. And we experienced that it was uh, really um, possible that the Spanish students, they integrated the American students in a group of, they, they went with them to um, every events they had with their students, but also they had some mm -hmm. sessions to improve the language skill. Um, what I like to say is that I think it's really interesting to find homeland students they, um, who are interested in uh, connecting with the students from the other country. And I'm sure that this also will work with the Chinese students. So um, they invited me for this pilot project. <laughs> And directly, I thought this would be, um, or this is a very good idea to do it also mm -hmm. with the Chinese students. And now I'm thinking about how we can do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Silvia. And also, in, in my university, we are using a technique, well, very, very similar. Is uh, I, I think it's a, I think it's a uh, English word like a based past also or best friends like best friends okay you are coming to study to my university and uh, you will have a new local friend to take you uh, to take you and show you not only the the university or student life so uh, he will be your best friend for the these three months and take care of you and show you all the the the, the, the student way to live the city uh, another thing this has become like uh, uh, your uh, any help you will need, this person will give you. 
but not from like a, 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 a your boss or or some someone from administration. It's a, like it's another student who are interested in, uh, to take care of you. So it's a, it's a new kind of program. And the other thing, uh, they are using uh, theater groups to make like a, a, a obra, a obra with only the, the Chinese learning Spanish students. So they force them to make a, a, a theater with, uh, with, with the, all the new words that they are learning. Mm. So it's some kind of, okay, you are living in Spain, uh, you are going to make uh, like a, a, a Spanish classic obra for, for the theater. And they are not judges, just uh, for having fun. So it's a different kind of of um, of tools we are using with to integrate the, the Chinese student to to the local student society. Antonio. Yes. Um, I'm here at the office at, in, in Ceuta, Madrid, and uh, two people uh, have arrived and. Yeah. Uh, some questions about uh, some stereotypes of uh, yeah. your uh, community. Mm -hmm. so, you know, there is a topic about uh, where do the Chinese people go when they uh, die? So I know you read okay. <laughs> about that. It's a question. And, so, it's a question because in, in Spain we don't have a, like a, a, what is the word for cemetery? A cemetery? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. With the Chinese guy dying in Spain. But once the, the old Chinese uh, guy dies, we sent the, not the body, the, 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 yes, yes. What do you call the, the what is the, 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 ashes, ashes, yes, the body ashes to, to, to China. So, because uh, it's, it works in two ways, okay? One, one thing is, is it's too expensive to have your body here, it's, and it's true, and there is no place in the public cemetery to, to have a place. And the second one is an uh, old Chinese culture, uh, cultural story, like uh, all the, the leaves from the tree, once falls down, it goes uh, again to the roots of the cemetery. So it's a uh, it's a poetic part of the of the of the tale of the story. So okay. I, I, yes. So I have another question here, and uh, what about the, the taxes? Is there a special relationship between the Chinese and, and Spanish government? Because this is another stereotype, I think. Yes, it's a heavy stereotype because people still still believes that the Chinese don't have to pay taxes and, and it's wrong everyone uh, everyone okay it's not chinese no spanish everyone wants to pay less taxes but we have to pay taxes it depends on the creativity of your uh, accountant to pay more or less taxes but we have to pay the taxes like uh, anyone else in, in spain thank you antonio Okay, thank you, Mercedes. I think the Uwe has another question. Uh, uh, I not only sit around the rice cooker, but no doubt. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, uh, I will read it, and I understand you are you are asking how to convince the the cultural in, interaction is important, and not only sit around the, the rice cooker but not go out to tapas you mean this is a, a okay i'm very bad reading reading questions only about food the question or you mean more things behind the the, the food situation more things okay so the real situation is uh, the the student okay or the or the, or the chinese uh, people once come to spain they don't know a lot of local local things. We start with the food, okay? Uh, so we are living in Spain and the food is great, 
uh, we call dieta mediterránea, okay, mediterranean food, and it's great, it's very helpful. But uh, for the Chinese students, uh, they, they, can, they can eat every meal in the Western way of, of, of eating. So a lot of them, and, I, and, it's, uh, and it's true, they bring their own rice cooker for, for the semester or for the one year, and they are still uh, cooking rice every day. So uh, I, you cannot change that because it's the, the way to eat healthy, and they, they cannot eat uh, every time uh, Spanish or Western food. So that's the point of one. Uh, just just think about about this this case, okay? Uh, I cannot even have every meal in the Spanish way or to to eat. How can I act like uh, a Spanish uh, a Spaniard in Spain in in this semester? So there's a lot of uh, I mean there are a lot of things uh, from the Chinese, and they are only believed in the Chinese way to live. Even they are in okay, they are in China or they are in Spain. For example, the, when they are ill, they, they don't go to to the to the uh, doctor and say, "Okay, I'm ill. I I I, ha I have to take some uh, tablets." Okay, uh, they are okay. I'm ill. I have to ask someone in China or the Chinese community if they are they have uh, Chinese traditional medicine. Because somehow they don't believe in, in Western way of uh, medicine. They say they are too aggressive to the body. So maybe uh, Uwe, does, is that kind of question you are, you are asking? Okay, there's no answer at the moment at the chat. So we can uh, come back to the chat later. Is there a, any other question? I would like, okay. Okay, uh, Uwe says, actually, I would like to know a way to convince them. And it's time to write, okay. So uh, can I have a question for everyone? So why do you think that we have to convince them? Mm. So that's, that's the point, okay? Uh, a way to convince them, but why? Mm. Why is good for them to convince that your way is better than their way to live? Mm. That's the big question because I work out with a lot of immigrants, even I know Mercedes uh, who, who work for uh, Red Cross, okay? Um, no, that is not why I think. Okay, this is another. So, so uh, just uh, sometimes uh, foreigners just want to live their lives as they know that in in his own country, like the Chinese. Okay, I, I know a lot of Chinese, all Chinese, like uh, my parents' age. They just want to live their life in Spain, and they don't care and, uh, about nothing else, just to to live their life. And, and that is okay. And the other part is the young the Chinese people want to integrate, want to be uh, total, total Spaniard, no Chinese party in, in his mind. And that is okay also. Okay, okay. I have okay. another question. Okay. Yes, uh, we were saying, okay, I need time to write. There's no what I think. Maybe I have to visit you and discuss. Okay, maybe next time we can, we can I mean, Madrid, uh, Silvia and uh, uh, Mercedes, and uh, we can make it in life. It's easier, I think, for, for everyone to interact. Yes, uh, that is that is uh, that would be great. Okay. okay uh, I, I have a, another question here because some, some people have have uh, joined yes. us, and uh, they are asking about uh, uh, mixed couples. Yes. What is the okay. percentage of uh, mixed uh, couples of uh, Chinese people in Spain? Uh, what we think about, uh, like Chinese way to think, or what we think like a Spaniard way to think. So, what is the perception of the mixed couple from the Chinese? No, no, they, they want to know if the Chinese in in in, in Spain uh, married uh, Spanish people because you know it, it is not uh, a, a usual thing. Oh, yes. 
yes, this is not common, but there's a, 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 a more every time. Uh, a lot of time, the, the 19 percent, okay, of the time is a, a Chinese woman uh, married to a Spanish guy. So that's the most common, more, more common than the, a Chinese guy to marry a, a Spanish girl. So that, that's the statistic way to, to, to say. Um, uh, there's like a, a culture things also because uh, the Spanish woman don't find attractive in an Asian guy in so, in so many ways. So that's the, the big why. And, but the Spanish guys, uh, they do find a lot of uh, attractiveness in an uh, Asian woman. Mm -hmm. I can answer the part of that question with this sentence, but in my case, my wife to be is a Spanish girl, so maybe I I am attractive for the Spanish girls. So Antonio, you you break yes. the stereotype? Yes, I'm the only one who who breaks. But but we are with my wife to be in shopping the in the in the Chinatown. Okay, we call it Chinatown, and everyone looks at her and looks at me. And some uh, people just ask, is, is it your wife? Is it your, your girlfriend? I said, yes. They said, okay, good for you. Like, uh, wow, they are very proud uh, uh, how a Chinese guy uh, gets a Spanish girl. So that's a surprise. And sometimes I go to the other part of the city, and the, the Spanish also ask the same question. Okay, is it your, your, is your wife? Is your is your girlfriend? So how is it to be? I, I never see a Chinese guy with a Spanish girl. So I think it's, it's because the, the Chinese young Chinese community just uh, begins in the in the 19s or in the 2000 year 2000. We are uh, very uh, I mean very young to to live like mixed couples. Maybe the next generation, maybe in 10 years time, we can see mixed couples in in, in, in every country in every community, and uh, yes. Uh, it's not a big surprise for, for people to, to see mixed, uh, mixed couples, maybe in time. Antonio, I have a question. Yes. Um, you told before that 80% mm -hmm. are coming from the Zhejiang province. Yes. Do you have an idea why this is so hard? Yeah, in comparison, it's the, the, the numbers very, high. very high percentage. Yes, because uh, at the beginning, very beginning of the of the, this movement from Georgia province uh, was a very poor province in the eighties. Mm. So everyone from that province wants to 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 become rich. So mm. they start to come to the United States, uh, Europe. Uh, they even know, don't know Spain was an option. Mm -hmm. uh, they start in, in Netherlands and they start to, to go down to the south of Euro Europe. So they find uh, in Italy, uh, sp Spanish with good weather uh, and good people, they start to, to make business and then they bring all the, the, the their families. Uh, in Spanish, the word is reagrupación familiar, which means uh, get the family together. And once you get your family together, Maybe your cousin or your uncle comes also to your family, and then they start again a, a, a family and bring more and more people. Mm -hmm. okay. And then, uh, yes, and the, the other thing is uh, the Chinese, we are more uh, collective, uh, collectivista. We would like to, to, to belong to a group. Mm -hmm. So if my neighbor or my family goes to Spain, I want to go also to Spain. If your business is okay in this street, I will open another one near to you because I know it's, it's good for your business and it's, it will be good for me. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the, uh, the issue of the Chinese maybe. Uh, sometimes we are getting so closer, getting those uh, so together that the perception of the others is, we, okay, we are living in the ghetto. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. So, do we have any question, Mercedes, in Madrid? Yes. Uh, 
I'm here with uh, Carlos and, uh, mm -hmm. and some other people, and they they have an, uh, one last uh, question, but I I think that I know the answer. <laughs> but the question is, Antonio, yes. uh, why did the Chinese uh, people uh, settle up the same type of uh, business? The same time a kind of business. Okay, you mean if I open a shop or oh, fruit or secos, okay? Yes. Uh, yes. But uh, the next one will open the same shop in nearby me, or even uh, puerta con puerta, <laughs> even my neighbor. Is is the question? Yes, but yes. they yes. want to know why they always uh, sell uh, food, and uh, you know uh, they have a small to stores and why. Uh, don't they do a uh, different uh, type of, of business? So, okay. why um, only small stores? I, I know. Well, one of the, the reasons is because uh, the stores uh, traspaso, okay, we go from one mosque and to other one, okay? Uh, because it's easy, it's cheap, and you, you don't even have to, to learn Spanish to sell in the shops. So I, ca I have a calculator and it's okay. You bring the goods to my to my table. Uh, I will show you the, the price with my calculator. This is the easy way to 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 live. And the second one is because um, they start all. Uh, I said in the per, uh, presentation. Okay, the only way we know to live in Spain is a rest family restaurant, a small bars, a small stores, and, and bazaars. And now they are changing the the, the way of business. A lot of uh, Chinese, uh, uh, okay, in, in Spain-born Chinese, they are they are um, start starting a lot of new business like uh, maybe concessionaire for cars, okay, maybe uh, 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 a state agent for selling more Spanish properties for future uh, rich Chinese uh, people to come to Spain to invest, or like my, my case, or like uh, other cases where we spent first time to have a, a degree and now I became a lawyer and the other one is an economist the other one maybe is doctor I think there's, there's two doctors now in, in Valencia's hospitals and I know also a dentist a Chinese dentist who has a, a own clinic in, in Valencia um, step by step they are moving they are moving on and uh, working in best uh, situations okay uh, years ago, I made uh, like a uh, hundred interviews in in Madrid, in uh, Frutos Secos, look, the, the typical uh, Chinese store selling food, and the parents uh, says, "Okay, I'm working with my hands, but my illusion, my dream, is that my daughter or my or my or my kids or my, or my son become an important person who hasn't uh, uh, who hasn't." To work with their his hands, I want my child to work only with 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 his mind. I mean, I think, uh, what do you mean with with um, with his mind? I said, uh, he said, oh, okay, maybe a doctor or maybe a, a bank accounter, maybe a lawyer, and no more no more typical uh, Chinese working way to to live. So that's the point. It, it was five years five years ago. Maybe in time, in, in 10 years, we can see uh, Chinese guys in, in every kind of business. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you, Mercedes. So, okay, okay. more questions? Uh, mm -hmm. Mercedes? No more questions. Thank you, Silvia. Okay, so Uwe, it seems Uwe, has uh, still gone he has another meeting mm -hmm. yes. so thank you very much antonio for being thank with you. us tonight thank you Mercedes. so maybe next time we can organize something live in madrid okay, okay next time you come you. Uh, to madrid we can organize it so. okay i will send the presentation to to sylvia and you can sylvia you can send to everyone the, the presentation and uh, if you uh, have some further questions, just uh, write me to my email. Okay? okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. You too. So, if there is anyone who wants to rece receive the 
presentation from Antonio, please send us an email to CHR Spain and then we will send you the presentation, okay? Okay, Antonio, so thank you very much again and maybe next time we see us in Madrid. Yes, okay. Bye-bye. Thank you very bye -bye. much. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.